Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province recently announced plans to expand its support for the installation of air pollution measurement devices that use the Internet of Things, or IoT, at small businesses. The province has signed an agreement with the Metropolitan Air Quality Management Office and the Korea Environment Corporation for air quality improvement. In cooperation with these organizations, the province will strive to reduce air pollutant emissions from businesses through various endeavors, including the installation of IoT integrated devices. Last October, the Kyungi Maritime and Fisheries Research Institute released young shortneck clams, corb shells, and lugworms, which had been bred using methods developed by the Institute at eight coastal mudflat areas. Breeding technology development and the release of young organisms by the Institute is expected to help increase fishing household income while restoring mudflat ecology. Kyungi Province is currently recruiting participants for the 2021 Kyungi Upcycle Makerthon in order to identify feasible upcycling concepts for the province. This event, which is being held for the first time this year, will showcase creative upcycling products that can be used to address waste recycling issues. Applications for teams of two to four members over 17 years of age can be made via the Upcycle Plaza website along with a submission of necessary documents via email by November 17th. With contactless shopping becoming more popular, Kyungi Province has launched an online traditional market shopping service known as Shopping Delivery Express. This service is provided through Kyungi's public delivery service app, Delivery Express. The Shopping Delivery Express service is expected to help improve the sustainability of traditional market merchants through increased sales. Kwangnung Forest of Kyungi Province has kept its Biosphere Reserve designation after passing a regular evaluation by UNESCO's International Coordinating Council of the MAB program. Biosphere reserves are ecologically valuable areas around the world designated by UNESCO. Kwangnung Forest first received this designation in 2010. Last year, Kyungi Province undertook the operation of the Forest Management Center and has since been working on plans to ensure the sustainable development of the area. On October 29th, Kyungi Province presented the first Kyungi Science and Technology Awards to six winners, including Bang Jin Ho, a professor at Hanyang University, and Yoon Eun Yang, a research director at the Advanced Institute of Convergence Technology, who won in the women's category. Introduced this year, the presentation of these awards, which also saw the presentation of Kyungi Province Governor's Awards, took place at the 2021 Kyungi Do Science and Technology Integration Festival that was held at the Kyungi Center for Creative Economy and innovation. Following the November 3rd court-ordered suspension of Kyungi Province's public disposition for the cancellation of Ilsan Bridge Operator designation, the Kyungi Provincial Government announced that it will continue to pursue a permanent toll-free system for the bridge by instead making a partial advance payment for minimum revenue guarantee for the transfer of operations. This means the province will temporarily allow the bridge management company to maintain its status while continuing current toll-free operations. The province also expects that the total payment amount needed for operation transfer will not be affected by the partial advance payment. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.